Yeah, Black Ball was um, was a riff that just came up in in writing the record. Um, you know, we wrote a lot of the record in this quite miserable arch that we've talked about a lot in Bermondsey, and I think it was during the Beast from the East. There was like minus nine, and we played that riff, <clears throat> and it just felt like a nasty number. Uh, and I think, but pretty much on the day, like because I was recording stuff on my phone, I just titled it Black Bull, just because it felt like it had this, um, this kind of animalistic, uh, bestial energy to it. And yeah, we we put in like the little. What are you feeling about? Just, <laughs> I'm just remembering the day that the day that we sort of wrote it. Um, and we'd be like, all right, let's play it. And it'd be ding, 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 ding. And then there was this look where it would be going, going into the chorus. Oh, yeah. and, da, 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 da. and it was yeah. like, I, I, I don't know, it was, it was so much fun to play in that first day of like, writing that it sort of made me laugh because it was so satisfying. Yeah. Um, and also because we just didn't stop doing it for like like an hour, we were just like, and you because you were staying for ages on the like the same note. On the same, the other. And then when it went down to the other bit, yeah, yeah, it was good. When it came to writing the lyrics for it, um, I can't remember. I had a scene in my head which was basically like a kind of beachside resort, like like a Benidorm type vibe where lots of like pop pop bellies sweltering in the sun, like like the opening scene of Sexy Beast, and that this massive bull would run down the beach just sort of laying waste to like copies of the sun flying over and like chips and men with like handkerchiefs on their head and stuff. And that was just the visual picture I had. And there wasn't a kind of pointed political point to it, but that was just the image. Um, we didn't have enough budget for that for the video, unfortunately. <laughs> I felt lyrically like the song could act as a kind of blotting paper for all of these um, unpleasant aspects of masculinity. And partly, I guess, it was informed by playing live. And like when we play songs like What Went Down and Black Bull Live, sometimes I get into this type of uh, mode as a performer that's like, that is arrogant almost and like puffed up and kind of obnoxiously masculine. Um, so that was kind of in my head that I knew that when we were playing it live that it was going to be one of those kind of uh, ferocious tracks that I would probably shape shift in, in a way, like on stage. Um, but then filling in the lyrics, yeah, I just wanted it to have this kind of bruised, um, unpleasant um, masculine energy to it in a way of wanting to kind of cage that energy into the song. Yeah. 